Hey everybody, welcome to part 18 of Spiral Year of the Dragon. I'm Nostalgia Scott, and today we'll be finishing off World 3 by going back to Fireworks Factory and then going to the Sparks level. After that, we will head back to the final world and go do some of the levels there. And hopefully have a good time. Going back to one of my least favorite levels, though I do find it one of the best designed levels as well as one of the levels with the best uh, soundtrack. So that I believe we can skip most of the level just by hopping in this cannon. So fire us off into the distance, good sir. Okay, with that we just have to go up here. Oh, you dare shoot me? And then we can go down here to the Agent 9 spot. Secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know, I'm always ready to kick some Rhinox booty. <laughs> well, okay, I absolutely hate this spot though. Like, with the passion. Hi, Agent. I don't care. But now we have the issue of being in first person mode. I absolutely, with a passion, hate this. Just because of like how it is, like the left analog or the right analog stick does nothing. The left analog stick seriously does everything. Destroy the box. We don't want infinitum ninjas. You can still jump, I believe, but oh god damn it! I believe technically you have the same amount of health as Spyro, so yeah, that hasn't changed. Oh my god. How am I supposed to know there's a, there's a box of ninjas in here? You better not be able to shoot me there, buddy. God. Whoa! You were... Okay, it's just my footprint, or my footsteps I hear. And I believe there's actually two... Two eggs here. Yeah, you're doomed and you're doomed too, or whatever it's supposed to be called. So, it's going to be a little annoying. Actually, no, you have less health than Spyro. I believe you only have three hits. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Oh, you guys are on the ceiling. Oh, thank you for some health. Num num. Oh god. So many enemies, so little time. Just destroy the ones with the guns and we should be good. Okay, can I destroy like the box of ninjas from there? I could, I can, and they don't actually figure out that I'm here. Well, you can strafe just by holding down L and R, but can you like... Why do I feel like there's, there's another box of ninjas? I need you guys to like come down off the ceiling. Oh, you can hold down triangle to aim even more. Well, you just push triangle, then it's like, oh yeah, hey, guess what? You can shoot more, man. Oh, hey up there, man. Like, why are none of them being triggered to come down though? That's what I'm trying to get. Like normally they would just like, jump down and have a spaz attack. First chance to get to have our blood, they would. These guys aren't doing anything. Oh, there's some more health over here. Mm. Could use some more backup health. Apparently I can't hit him from here. He's not in the air or something. Just, just waiting for some like random ninja to pop up or something, you know? Like I said, I absolutely hate this, and for some reason Sparks is invisible. Dun 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 dun. Okay, now these three pop up down. Pop up on the ground. You know, leave the health there just in case we need it. Cause I'm like pretty. Oh, I somehow killed the third guy on that one side without actually meaning to. Oh, there's definitely a box of ninjas right there. Can you guys like back off for like five seconds? Why are you spawning so many goddamn ninjas? Oh lord. Okay, I don't think there's any, uh, 
ninja spawners here. I have a feeling there's still quite a few gems. Yeah, there's still quite a few gems in this level. At least close to 100 left, or 95. This means a lot of them are together, you know? Because I believe we have to backtrack through the entirety of the level. Whoa! Well, this one, just, this one spawns both ninjas again. God, I always hate when they can do that. Spawn all kinds of ninjas! I don't want that open. There's some more health there. Luckily, we're not taking a lot of damage as of right now. Or as of late. Depending on how you guys want to see it. Oh, hey, look, an egg. I'll be back for you, egg. Am I missing gems? Oh, wait, because I believe there are more ninja spawner thingies that pop up eventually. Anyways, we have Patty. Patty and Selma. Hey, I wonder if the next egg would be Selma. Okay. Good thing we don't have a time frame. Yeah, see? Like, now all the ninjas are gonna start spawning back. And this is technically... Yeah, see, there's a ninja box right here that spawns gun ones. Okay. 45 more gems to go. Oh, no. Hey, where'd he go? Ah, oh, I knew it was gonna take some damage there, though. Can I, like, destroy it from... Oh! Okay, you're smarter than these other guys who just freaking get stuck on the wall. Okay, now, kill them all off, please. Because now I gotta turn around and go get this health. Luckily, it's right here. See, this is exactly why I left the health. Can you... Can you just die already? Goddamn bug. I just gotta make sure we can find all the gems. Also, there's some more health. There we go, perfect. Oh no, more gun ninjas. Gun toting ninjas. Since. Since when is uh, having a gun a staple of being a ninja? Like, you can't even track the gems in here either. That's the second issue. So if you miss any, well, you're not gonna see them, because guess what? You can't see sparks at all. But you still have them, you can tell. Oh. Oh, God damn it, there's a, there's a box right there. Luckily at this angle, I don't think any of them can surprise attack us. Just some of these guys are absolutely dumb. Whoa. Whoa. Oh god, there's another one right there, isn't there? Yep, there is. Oh, there's actually four in here. Okay, can I hit it from here? Oh, I was already destroying it, apparently. Oh, I know, never mind, there's only gonna be that many. It's only three. Okay, there we go. Now, hopefully... We managed to find all the gems because I honestly hate, with a passion, coming back to this level. Like this? Oh. Apparently now they're up to health. See, I knew at some point they were going to come back with a vengeance and try and kill me. Whoa. Whoa. It's funny how, like, with Agent 9 they only shoot, like, once, so they're somewhat more easy to avoid. And then for Spiral, they just, like, have, like, a, what, a five burst or something like that, where they shoot, like, in a wave of five. It's not the last gem, though. Okay, destroy that box! Dude, we don't need any more ninjas. Okay, there's gotta be one more box of ninjas. Or, never mind, two more boxes of ninjas. Why did I say one box of ninjas? Whoa, I got stuck there for a second. Gonna hate how, like, they, like, randomly choose what direction they want to go in. There we go. 
that should be everything with this level. So there's 600, 600 gems. And let's free him. Or he blows up anyway. Thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the Whinox try to blow that up too. Ah, oh, jeez Louise. Anyways, Donovan! Donovan and Sullivan. I don't know. With that, we can now leave the area and then we can leave the level because we never, ever have to step foot in this level again. Oh, my kitty angel is here. And there we go. Exactly 5,200 gems. Not sure what else money bags and charges for. Probably some bridges or some elevators here and there like it always does. We're only at 26 lives. Like seriously, this game does not have a lot of lives in it. With that, we can now finish off the last level here. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Spark should check it out. Okay. Starfish Reef. Sparks loading screen. The best of all loading screens. And I can't wait for my pineapple donair pizza tonight. Yeah, for those who are watching these videos, I'm recording all six of the videos in the same day. So don't worry about that. Uh, beach party! 200 gems and one egg. Pretty sure it's not a beach party. Now this level, on the other hand, is a little bit annoying. Man, it's gonna be like shooter mode episode thing going on. So many starfish. Are you guys spawning out of something? Nope. You guys are just everywhere and I somehow ran into that. Though I do like the music that they choose for the Sparks levels. Though I prefer the Sparks levels in this game over a Hero's Tale, but Hero's Tale does have a really good concept for Sparks levels. Because then you can use Sparks in just basic levels, and it's like, oh sweet. Though I kind of miss how it was like collect gems. I'm sure you have light gems and dragon eggs, but everything else about it's more difficult. Oh yeah, the starfish which split up into three really fast little fish. Starfish. Little star- ooh, new power up though. I don't think we've had this one. Yeah, sea mines. So I guess we go up and there's some help. Oh, that thing spawns these big ones. Yeah, we have big enemy spawners now, so be on the lookout for those attack dogs. Attack frogs from Spiral 1. I will be playing Spiral 1 eventually, probably sometime after this game, not too far after. But just because of the fact that um, I do want to get all the games done on my channel, like I don't want to just do ones that I haven't done on the other channel. Like the difference, between, this is like a brand new channel. So those who think because I've done them on uh, Canadian Gamer slash Solar Warlock already doesn't mean that I'm not going to play them on this channel just because I want to still play those games because I love them and I'd love to do them better because I have a lot of games on that channel that weren't good quality, that weren't HD, that, you know, didn't even have a mic, so kind of nice to be able to do that for you guys now, you know? Pretty sure you guys like that. Sure, sometimes I regret recording a commentary because I seem to get less views with commentary, but... I still enjoy it, and Super Mario Logan just uploaded a video. Eh, I found them kind of went downhill when they used, uh, Jeffy. Like, a lot of people find Bowser Jr. annoying in some level. Like, I like Bowser Jr. My favorite ones are, like, the Shrek episodes and the Woody episodes, like the Shrimpo Hunter. Like, I absolutely love those, lo those uh, videos, but... Ow. I just find the channels going downhill, as are a lot of channels. Like, I still like Cryotic, I still like Markiplier, like, I like Markiplier in the sense when he does good games, like, lately he's been playing games that I personally don't like, doesn't mean that no one else does, or that no one else should watch his stuff, but, in my personal opinion, I just don't like the, the current content. Doesn't mean that I'll give up on the channel. Then again, I have given up on Pewds, because he's not really playing anything anymore. He doesn't really want to be a gaming YouTuber. I've noticed that with a lot of gaming YouTubers, they all go into like the Smasher Pass or Challenges thing, and it's like, well, if everyone's doing it, this is no longer entertaining. As a gamer, there's so much you can do, there's so many absurd games, and so many cool, fun things you can do, but it's like, it's like, why, why do you have to give up being a YouTuber? Like, I honestly started watching them because of Alice Madness Returns, like, I absolutely love that Let's Play or playthrough, or whatever you want to call it. He talks during a game, so it's a let's play. So, you know. 
that, that's a thing, but... Oh, we got another starfish spawner here. It's a starfish, uh, seashell spawner thingy. Like, I believe there's 40 gems at the end of the level every time. I'm never God damn it. I'm pretty damn sure because of the fact that, uh, it sits in the corners. Oh, lord. This is a lot of damn starfish. Well, luckily, it wasn't a match for the almighty and powerful sparks. I actually destroyed it before they could spawn anymore. Number 10. Tens are very rare in this land. This is the land of the poor. This is the land of the poor in the Spire universe, apparently, or just all the Sparks levels. Sabbard isn't like you actually have to backtrack after the final boss back to the last world. There's actually going to be more in here. Alright. I don't usually save up this power. Oh no! Double trouble. Bleh, bleh. Wow, I glitched the boss and we got Anishan. Anishan? It almost sounds native. I'm not sure if it is. Don't don't correct me. And I'm not trying to be racist or anything. It just sounds like it could be like a a native white hybrid, you know? Like a Native American hybrid. Native Canadian. Native, North American, native, you know. And there we go. Hydra present on this level, so we finished off World 3. <laughs> Completely. So let's go see what our new power up is. I'm gonna have a drink of Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna say it's not Dr. Pepper Cherry, though. I really do love that. What? When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. Okay, now, in this game, it actually overlaps, and it just makes Sparks stay gold for an extra hit. So, like, all you have to do is you eat an extra, an extra, uh, butterfly. With that, we can now head back to Midnight Mountain. This Let's Play's gonna, I'm gonna say, there's what... There's the tomb level, the 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 rune level, or the rune, the dune level, the dinosaur level, the crystal level, and the flight level. I was gonna say there's gonna be at least five, six episodes remaining in this series. So with that in the next episode, we will be doing the level known as Crystal Islands. And if this level goes fast, then we'll also do the speedway. Stay tuned, guys. Peace out.